Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is refrigerant recovery tanks and possible schemes or possible problems some of the techs I hear are having. Basically, I just want everybody to be informed. I'm not really sure. I've had a few comments about uh, people taking recovery bottles and, and basically swearing up and down that they recovered all the refrigerant correctly. There's no air, there's no nitrogen, there's no other refrigerants in that bottle, and they're taking it to the supply house, and the supply house is saying, or the distributor is saying, that the bottle is contaminated. So, all I can tell you is to do your homework first. So, you need to buy the recovery bottle at the same place where you're going to end up returning a full recovery bottle at. Uh, so, I'm actually, I feel very fortunate uh, with the different supply companies that I work with. Uh, presently, they're paying about $5 a pound for R22, which right now, a new bottle of R22 costs around $775, so very close to $800. And uh, the distributor's paying the technicians or the company basically $5 a pound for, for this distributor at least. Uh, that's kind of, I think it should go higher than that at this point, but basically I still feel very fortunate. I don't even have to take this to the supply house. This is for free pickup and exchange, and I just left them a little note right here. I just give them a little tiny note. This is a bottle that I bought from your company. It weighs 61 pounds, 13 ounces. I checked the saturated temperature, and it's right on correct for R22, and then I wrote, 33 and a half pounds of R22 that's in the bottle and who it's from. So you got to make sure you're going to label the company it's from or maybe mark the tank somewhere, um, you know, at least even if it's in pencil on the bottom or somewhere, uh, just so they know who it's from um, if you were to have them pick it up. But m in most cases, most technicians are going to be driving this to the supply house and exchanging it. So the supply house that I work with wants 34 pounds of refrigerant in a 50 pound tank. So even though EPA regs say that you can put up to 40 pounds in a 50 pound cylinder, you know, DuPont says 38 pounds, you really need to check with whoever you're dealing with as far as a distributor uh, or the supply house where you buy your tanks and exchange them at. You want to basically go around to the supply houses because they are very, very different. It's crazy. You know, some of them will want you to pay, want you to pay for you to give them R22, which is crazy. All right. Other other companies they'll they'll pay you for the R22. Uh, this company that I'm dealing with, it doesn't matter if it's a burnout R22 or not. They're not charging me any like cleaning fee for the tank. Uh, they're just interested in the R22, and I don't blame them at, right now at this point because uh, R22 is pretty costly to come by. So, are the technicians that are taking this to the supply house have they verified that the tank is at the correct saturated temperature or not, I don't know. You know, is the is the tank over full? I don't know. All I can tell you is to be informed and go to uh, all of your local supply houses in order to pick the right one to deal with uh, for this. Because for 30 pounds of refrigerant, if it's five dollars a pound, it's 150 dollars for every bottle that you give them, and that can add up. There's also companies that go around and uh, even franchises and things that go around and recover refrigerant at junkyards and county dumps and things. But most recycling places won't take any type of scrap metal unless you've pulled all the refrigerant out, and, and really you should be pulling all the refrigerant out anyway. So let's go ahead and verify that this is definitely R22 in the tank. So how do you do that? Okay, we have our temp sensor right here. We're going to tape that onto the tank. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our tank pressure. So we have 81 degrees on the tank. There's no sun shining on it or anything to end up giving us a false reading. And the tank pressure actually says 142 PSIG. If you follow that to the green inner ring, that's a saturated temperature, it says 81 degrees. So they match up. So that's how you verify that you don't have any nitrogen or air in the tank. And then the next thing you need to do is just check the weight. So now we're going to go ahead and check our weight. We're going to turn on our electric scale. We're going to zero it out. You see we have zero right now.
and we're reading 61 pounds 7.8 ounces so when I weighed it before I was just doing it in a hurry and I thought it weighed about 61 pounds and some odd ounces but uh, it weighs 61 pounds 7.9 ounces so it says T and then 28.4 pounds so that's tear weight 28.4 pounds empty so this supply house says that they only want 34 pounds inside the bottle so 34 plus 28 is 62 so 62.4 pounds total and we are under that with 61 pounds 8 ounces so we just verified that we have the proper weight and we have the correct saturated temperature for this recovery bottle we already know what the parameters are that this supply house is looking for so if you know these things ahead of time, you're not going to end up having a problem when you take your recovery bottle to the distributor or to the supply house. So there shouldn't be any surprises or anything like that. Uh, you just want to go ahead and find a reputable distributor or supply house before you go ahead and recover the refrigerant. The other thing is if you have an existing recovery bottle, then what you could do is you could just take that refrigerant out of that recovery bottle and then put it into the recovery bottle that you bought from the distributor. Most distributors work this way where you have to buy their bottles and then you go ahead and add the refrigerant into that and then they'll exchange them for you. Every supply house and every distributor is different. But if you have your own bottle, you can just go ahead and use your recovery machine and just go ahead and take the refrigerant that you have in your existing bottle and put it in your new bottle. That shouldn't be a problem. Well, anyway, I just wanted to go over these things with you. If you want to learn more about the refrigerant recovery or refrigerant recovery bottles, uh, just check out the playlist. So now the refrigerant recovery bottle is ready for pickup right here at the shop for tomorrow, along with the distributor dropping off some supplies and equipment we need. If you're looking for this quick test pressure gauge, I put a link in the description below. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.